Hey everyone, what's up? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Chrysalis Part 2 walkthrough series. Today, we're about to travel across the Starfell Sea on the Great Beast. We do have to defeat some creatures who dare try to board the Great Beast, but we can handle them. Just the two of us. Or if we join some friends. Let's try. Oh. <laughs> I bad. Okay. I, uh, okay. Let's try and do a team up. Hmm. Okay, wait, never mind. And anyway, let's try one more time. No. Well, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go. Here we are, the Great Beast. Listen close. Despite the Great Beast's strength, anything could go wrong. Leave us drowning at the bottom of the waves. Or swimming in the middle of the Starfall Sea, waiting for something to snap us up. Now, place the Dying Star Stone on the pedestal to activate it. Right. You place the Dying Star Stone in its spot on the navigation pedestal. It sparkles with power. If we stay on the surface, not only will the Shadow Queen's forces be able to find us, but we'll be shredded by the Maelstrom. Get ready to dive. Use the Alto Meter to signal the Great Beast to submerge. You touch the Alto Meter and imagine yourself going down, down, down into the deep. Whoa. We're underwater. Quickly now, pay attention. I've placed the nautic stones to help us navigate. Go to the Mandana crystal and adjust it. Slightly! Got it. You adjust the Mandana crystal as best you can, under the captain's rapid-fire commands. Yes, good. I think that was just enough. Wait! The great beast groans and flinches. Something is distressing him. When harried or vexed, the great beast's desire is to dive deep. If we let him, our diving bell will be ripped apart by the ocean gyre. We cannot sit on the surface, nor swim too deep. A certain death lies on either end. We need a steady hand on the helm. When the great beast tries to plunge below, we must instead force him to rise and deal with whatever we find. Use the alto meter to cause the great beast to rise and venture out onto his back. You touch the altimeter and force the great beast to rise. You hear a thundering snarl of Now protest, we're above the surface again. But he obeys. Okay, now what? What the? Bzz, it's true! The spellbinder has harnessed a great beast of the Starfall Sea. Oh my gosh. White raises attack! So, we have to deal with white razors? Okay, whatever you say.
Oh, darn. My bad. Hmm. I wish we packed. Potions. I wish we should have packed po we should have packed potions, but I think it should we should be fine. The sounds are so weird. Go in water. White racers, I. They must have followed us from Crescent Beach. We'll be well into the storm soon, and they won't be able to follow. Of course, we'll have bigger problems then. Oh. Use the altometer to convince the great beast to submerge again. We don't want to batter the diving bell more than we have to. You use the altimeter, guiding the great beast to swim below the surface again. Underwater again. I need you to check the Oceana Crystal. It keeps the diving bell safe. And also examine the Atala Stone. It measures the great beast's fear and passions. You inspect the Oceana Crystal and turn it just slightly to improve its resonance. The Atala Stone. But then suddenly it flickers and sparks. What the? Blast and tarnation! Something in the water is bothering the beast, nipping at his fins. Rise up! Use the altometer and break the surface. Let's draw these bedeviling vermin up with us. You guide the great beast into a swift rise with the altimeter. It's a thrill to have such power under your command. Once again, the path outside is open. Time to chase off the vermin. The vermin? So, who could it be? Who could it be? Oh, it's them? They're meth. <gasps> oh, man. Oh, we gotta go first again. Yay! Okay. It's gonna be a difficult task, but we can handle them.
All right, here we go. Die! And leave us alone. Aha! <laughs> it like pushed him off. Kicks, spiteful things. They prey on smaller fish, but they'll try to take a nip out of anything that passes their way. Me guesses the Shadow Queen riled them off. Good work driving them off. That's the edge of the maelstrom we're entering. Time to send the great beast below again. So we through the automator, you can see so, how oh, violent okay. the storm is getting. It takes much more effort to guide the great beast this time. Ooh, big storm, huh? I'm scared. Keep an eye on the Mandana and Oceana crystals. Keep them in harmony. And don't take your eyes off the Rasatala stone, nor the Mahatala stone. Else the great beast may decide to devour us himself. All right, all right. You do your best to keep the crystals and stones in harmony. It takes a great deal of concentration and precise measurements. All of a sudden, all of the crystals and stones start a cacophonous ringing. What? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, gods, I was afraid of this. The deep spawn that dwell beneath the maelstrom are rising against us. Deep spawn are vile terrors. Whether the Shadow Queen sent them or they are just hungry doesn't matter much. They are hideous and cruel and could tear chunks out of the great beast himself if you don't stop them. Raise us up and get ready to fight amongst the storm. Here we go. Get out and drive off the deep spawn or we'll never make it. The altimeter shudders under your touch and grows painfully hot. The sound of the waves becomes a roar that makes your ears ring. As the way opens, you can hear a skittering of claws and scales, and the dissonant call and response of the deep spawn. Oh, deep spawn. Oh boy, I'm so scared. Oh my god, three of the three of them? They're Storm, and they're all bosses. Oh my gosh, this is just the worst I, that could ever be gotten. All right, we're gonna have to use Brutal Force. Just had to add extras. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Give me four of these. We are dealing with this is the final battle in the dungeon. It's going to be a big one. And we need shields. Alright, let's do this. They're gonna go. They are powerful, so keep your distance. <laughs> this is gonna be the most difficult fight ever, cause they're all storm, and they have full pips. Storm dragon. Oh my gosh. That's the worst spell. They got Storm Dragon and Sirens. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be tough. Storm Owl? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be painful. 
Oh, they didn't do that match. Almost. Oh, wait, it was almost nothing. <laughs> this is this is just insane. This is incredibly insane. Yeah, and they put low accuracies on us. This is just insane. Gotta put like all feints around them. Oh wait, what's he gonna do? What? Ah, oh, oh my god. Friends. Oh my gosh. Could this get any worse? Oh my god! Oh boy, what's this do? What's this? Oh my god! This is gonna hurt a lot. I'm not kidding. And that's a Tempest. We gotta heal. Come on! Power through! Oh my god. I'm not gonna make it. No, seriously, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I'm feeble! I'm just gonna attack. Come on, critical! No blocks. Uh, yes! Thank you! I wonder how much damage that's gonna do. Oh! Oh, that almost got him! That blade only helped. Oh 
Oh my god. All right. I should I should be able to rebirth in two rounds. Oh my gosh, that was Whew. Here we go. All right, it's time for Reaper. Here we go. It's a good thing we both got storm shields. Here we go. Critical. Yes. Pray. I pray. I think we might make it. We might. Next round, I think they should be dead. Oh. Uh oh. I think they're about. I think they're gonna go antsy now. Here we go! Oh, why did I have to do that much damage? Oh no, here it comes. Yep. Sirens just got just it, it just taken away taken took it away my sharpened blade. Why? Just just why? Why did it do that? Oh My blade. Why? Why? Oh, I might not make it. I might not make it. Just gonna have to try. Come on, power through. Darn. Oops. Power through. Oh, thank you. This time you're done. Ah. Uh. Well, that's one down.
All right, we got two more down. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope I can heal. Man, these guys don't know when to quit, do they? They just don't know when to quit. Oh, wow. They are good at not quitting. Another crit. I don't know how much I've got left in me. Maybe I should have gotten rid of those guns. Darn it, I should have gotten rid of those shadow strikes. I shouldn't have. I have to have something. Like, I need Mass Storm Prison by the next round, or else they're go they're just going to do it. Come on! All right, this next round they should be finished. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, we were lucky we blocked it. Don't worry, come on, survive! We can do this! We can do it! We can make it! We can do it! We can make it! All right, next round. It should be finished. Die already! Die! Oh yeah.
Oh, they blocked. But it's okay, we got them. Finally! That was close! Like we couldn't even survive. That is not dead, which can eternal lie. Still get the feeling I couldn't understand them. When the deep spawn stirred, I thought for sure you were done for. I guess something is looking out for you, wizard. I, I hope the way is clear. You see near every kind of hateful thing that swims in the Starfall Sea. It was once a serene, becalmed ocean. Till the Shadow Queen stirred it up and set it to roil it. Now let's finish this journey. Dive us down! Right. Leaves the altimeter down again, and the great beast gracefully follows your lead. Well, as gracefully as he can for his size. It's time for you to use the dying star stone to guide us through the worst part of the maelstrom. We'll be fine if you don't mess it up. In which case, we'll all be jetsam soon enough. You focus your will to a razor sharp point and use that to read the mystical aura of the dying star stone. It pulls and spins, threatening to drag you into the maelstrom. But you stay calm. And soon find yourself where you need to be. Well, what do you know? We made it. Ruin Alcazar. Oh my gosh, finally, I'm on land. Ah, oh, it's like we couldn't even survive it. Wait, I want to take a look back. Oh my gosh. And now there came both mist and shade, and it grew wondrous cold. And shadows dark came floating by, as black as chalk. The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Welcome to this star-blasted and shadow-cursed isle. Wizard, we may be the only living things to step upon this rubble in ages. I'm sure there are plenty of ghosts nearby. You seem to have a way with their kind. Look for a friendly shade. Who and what are you that comes here to this accursed place? There is nothing for you here, stranger. Your journey was for naught. Leave and never return. I cannot even tell you my name, broken being that I am. The maelstrom elementals that prowl this isle have taken it from me. You would restore my name? It cannot be done. The maelstrom elementals hoard the fulminating crystals I need to heal my mind. Uh, who are you that comes to this accursed really? place? There is nothing for you here. Your journey was for naught. Leave and never return. Okay, I don't know what's going on. That wraps it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, so it's appreciated. Next time we will make our way through the ruined Alcazar. It's gonna be exciting. Alright, leave a like if you Alright, have a wonderful day. Mistake. Have a wonderful day, I'll see you and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.